We're also looking at developing climate adaptive strategies in our new communities and, and using some of those measurements to assess the success of these communities as we move forward. Welcome to Global Energy Show's 5x5 series. I'm Rachel Gregory. Joining me today is Nathan Petrick, a partner at BNA Planning Group, one of Western Canada's leading planning, design, and engagement firms. Nathan, thank you so much for joining me today. Thanks for having me. What kind of services has BNA provided for the energy industry? The, the needs of the energy sector are diverse. Um, as a company, our relationships with municipalities, landowners, and developers is quite strong. And, and in particular, with regards to our, our monitoring program, we've been effective at uh, bringing operators, municipalities, landowners, and developers together to ensure uh, safe development in proximity to pipeline system, whilst also using that information to support operator awareness of, of what's going on. So as a firm, we've been looking to support energy providers push to renewable energy work and helping through a relationship with municipalities secure those necessary approvals. As a planning firm that specializes in, in a lot of land development work throughout Western Canada, we're also looking at developing climate adaptive strategies in our new communities and, and using some of those measurements to assess uh, the success of these communities as they move forward. Do you expand a bit on what BNA's custom monitoring program is? Municipality practices and awareness of energy infrastructure varies by jurisdiction. Uh, traditional click before you dig programs and, and, and these types of things that have been very successfully implemented by the energy sector are not uh, sufficient unto themselves to advance early awareness of land use and development change. So when we look at our monitoring program, the relationships with municipalities, landowners and developers and the successful implementation of that program, it really helps build early awareness well in advance before any shovels hit the ground. We assist operators in understanding jurisdictions where their pipeline infrastructure is located. Once that is understood, we develop customized communications programs with those impacted jurisdictions to communicate information requests as to what the operator would like to be engaged on. Once we receive those applications from the municipality, we work with an operator to understand the potential implications those applications might pose from a damage prevention, class impact uh, crossings land perspective. And from there, we work with operators to formulate uh, responses to those municipalities and to capture information that might be important in their own monitoring systems. Where do you see this adding the greatest value? Our customized monitoring programs have been adapted to meet energy companies' specific needs. That's helped enhance foresight, uh, bolster integrity management, and damage prevention initiatives, enable predictive modeling and advance of change. Ultimately, this supports regulatory and standard compliance, whilst also enhancing capital planning processes. Where do you see additional opportunities for land use planning consideration within the energy sector? It's in the news a lot these days, but based on the increasing importance of renewable energy initiatives, we see further opportunity to support energy providers through siting and due diligence investigations, through supportive engagement programs, and in securing necessary municipal approvals to support land and facility development. We also see opportunity to undertake preemptive planning assessments on pipelines networks and surrounding lands to support predictive class modeling as a supplemental approach to traditional monitoring programs. To support operators' damage prevention, integrity management, class monitoring programs, we also see an opportunity to assist operators in the integration of best management practices pertaining to pipeline systems through municipal engagement. Lastly, we see an opportunity to help operators in responding to changes in regulatory and standard requirements so that they better understand the potential impact of these changes and when we can assist them in devising potential solutions to get ahead. What have the benefits been in engaging in this type of work? Our work with the energy sector has provided a number of benefits. Some of them have included supporting land acquisition and disposition decision-making processes, helping secure necessary approvals to ensure land projects and facilities have appropriate approvals in place, helping enhance municipality and developer collaboration with energy providers, 
supporting early awareness of land use and development change and proximity to energy infrastructure, providing knowledge and foresight to support mitigation efforts and capital planning strategies. And lastly, um, it's, it's provided benefit to assist operators in meeting regulatory and standard obligations. Well, thank you so much, Nathan, for taking time to chat with me today and to chat about BNA Planning Group and your role within the energy industry. Thanks, Rachel. Thanks for having us.